Good afternoon. I am Kalpana Kannaberan, uh, speaking at the LSE India Summit uh, 2017. Um, how has the constitution performed in the past uh, 67 years, since 1950? I think that it's been, um, it's been a long journey and uh, it has been quite an experience uh, just in, in the initial decades just learning to work the, the constitution and gradually witnessing the elaboration of the provisions of the constitution in very new and very different ways. Uh, I think the major uh, victories, if you like, uh, that we have uh, managed to, uh, uh, you know, uh, secure thanks to uh, the constitution and uh, also thanks to this, the social and political movements that forced uh, lawyers to work the constitution uh, in courts. Um, you know, I mean, you've had the whole uh, the, uh, the, the decisions around uh, dissent and free speech uh, during and after the emergency. I think that, that was a huge bunch of cases uh, where uh, a lot of writers and teachers, particularly from the state that I came, uh, that I come from, uh, Andhra Pradesh, uh, you know, uh, who were arrested during emergency asserted uh, their right to protection, uh, their right against uh, arbitrary arrest. The writ of habeas corpus was the first one that we used. Uh, and to stunning uh, results, uh, because I think for the first time, uh, we began to think through and address the question of arbitrariness and state action, which was a huge step forward in thinking through state accountability. You had the question of prisoners' rights, which was again, you know, an area that was completely untouched uh, till the Vina Sethi case and, you know, the, the, the also the rise of the public interest litigation, particularly on constitutional matters. The basic structure, you know, so I mean, is, can you simply whittle away the constitution or is there some solid part of it that remains? that we have, I think it's a huge gain. And despite the fact that it's been overthrown uh, by the Supreme Court, I think the Nas Foundation judgment is a stellar piece of constitutional jurisprudence and something that we must hold on to as a precious legacy uh, from the constitutional courts. There are of course several, several other cases, but I think that Broadly, if you you know look at the broad sweep of cases that we have had so far, I would like uh, to flag the entire gamut of cases around habeas corpus, the prisoners' cases, uh, the basic structure, and uh, the rights of sexual minorities as you know really really significant cases uh, that have influenced also the way that I have thought about the constitution in the work that I do.